I'm Tyler, AKA Malik with Malik's Plants. And today we're gonna to talk about how I mix organic dry amendments in my compost tumbler. Before we get started, be sure to follow us. We are at Malik's Plants on virtually every social media out there. Um, and be sure to join our great group on Facebook, really great community, the Malik's Plants and Your Plants Gardening Group on Facebook. So I get asked all the time, hey Malik, you know, you're, you always say you're an organic grower, but what do you use, right? And to be honest, I use kind of, you know, what I call like an everything but the kitchen sink approach in, um, in, in you know, using organic dry amendments. I'm shooting for a general NPK. As a lot of you guys have noticed, um, you, know, an, you know, an NPK, just to go over that real quick, is N, nitrogen, P, phosphorus, K, potassium, okay? Um, all um, fertilizers, nutrients are required, I believe, to list the NPK. Right, so right here it is 315-0, okay? So a little bit of nitrogen, mostly phosphorus, zero potassium. As I'm sure a lot of you have noticed, um, cacti kind of like lower on the nitrogen side and higher on the PK, like phosphorus and potassium, okay? So I'm generally kind of shooting for that as a, as a general you know, NPK. Here I have BioLive, BioFish, Insect Frass, Bone Meal, and azomite for, for all your uh, trace minerals. So first off, let's talk about BioLive. BioLive, as it says here, is a, uh, a, a rich natural and organic fertilizer. It has a, it has a uh, unique blend of, of marine byproducts. It's got all your ecto uh, mycorrhizae, your, your endomycorrhizae. It also has uh, trichoderma and other uh, beneficial bacteria. It's got, yeah, it's got all kinds of good, good fish stuff, fish meal, crab meal, uh, langonite, which is like a mineral. Overall, great product. Um, right here it says contains beneficial microbes. All of this is 100% organic, including the azomite. Um, they all have OMRI, OMRI um, certified organic stickers. So if that's you know something that's important to you guys, um, you know they got it. All right. So the next product we have is the BioFish. Uh, the NPK is 772. Um, it's a lot like the BioLive, but it's a lot more like fish byproducts, fish bone meal. You know, it also has uh, alfalfa meal, kelp meal. Um, you know, uh, both products have uh, humic acids, which is a chelator. It helps break down nutrients and make them more bioavailable more quickly. Next, we have insect frass. I don't know how many of you guys out there are familiar with insect frass. It actually works, okay? Like what it actually works for is people say that it um, not only provides NPK, obviously it's 332, but um, for some reason, something about fertilizing plants with, you know, the sort of exoskeletal remains of insects for some reason makes insects not want them i really don't know why maybe maybe one of you can tell me go ahead and leave it down in the comments tell me you know hey malik it's because of this i would i would love to know because i've never been able to really find you know much information on it but it does work i once treated uh two mother plants one that you know you know that both had thrips pretty badly and i gave one of them the insect frass and the other one i didn't and the one that I gave the insect frass to had, you know, the, the, the thrips weren't gone, but they were significantly reduced um, in about, uh, I don't know, a couple week period, maybe, you know, maybe a month. Great product. I try to, I, you know, I try to at least have it, you know, this is going to be the smallest bag we're using here, but, you know, I try to have at least a little bit of it in all my mixes. Next, we have bone meal. So this is what's going to kind of pop up my phosphorus, right? This is what I'm using to kind of really raise my phosphorus. It's three nice nice low nitrogen number 15 and then zero okay bone meal i'm sure a lot of you know you know is great for cacti um because of all the you know the really high like calcium content uh, yeah it has eight, yeah it has 18 percent calcium i mean that's a, it's a huge amount of calcium um cacti love calcium right we all talk about cal mag you know using cal, you know supplementing with cal mag and stuff when cacti look sick seems to make them bounce right back they love calcium and magnesium hey guys um i just wanted to add one more organic additive that we forgot uh, because the the hydro store that I shop at was actually out of it. Um, we have here alfalfa meal. As you can see, the NPK of it is 2.5 nitrogen, 0.5 phosphorus, and 2.5 potassium. More importantly than the NPK in alfalfa meal is the Tricont uh, tricontinol. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right because I've only really read it. It contains tri uh, tricontinol, which is which is a a a PGR, 
a natural PGR though. Many of you have probably heard of PGRs in um, like cannabis growing and stuff like that. And um, you know, they're considered like a big no-no for like organic growing, right? However, plant growth uh, regulators are, are, are found in nature. Um, tricontinol was first actually um, isolated in alfalfa meal. And um, it actually helps plants uh, not only photosynthesize better, but, um, but metabolize proteins better. Um, it helps the transport of nutrients. Um, it just overall helps uh, plants just do their thing a lot better and more efficiently. So what I'm gonna do, we'll cut through this obviously real quick, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix half of each one of these bags in here. And then we're gonna kind of look at, you know, how it, what it kind of looks like. Oh, actually, before I forget, so we're gonna be mixing all of this stuff with my existing worm castings and uh, I believe right now I have Malibu compost in there as well. Um, like I said, everything but the kitchen sink approach. I kind of have an ongoing tumbler where I'm kind of just always adding things, okay? Um, have I ever noticed that it works less than it, it, than it does other times? No, never, okay? Um, good amendments are good amendments, right? You know, you wouldn't want them to be like drastically mixed, you know, in weird proportions, right? Like for instance, I wouldn't want like a gigantic bag of the azomite with like all these like, you know, like a 50 pound bag of the azomite with all these 25 pound bags of everything else. That would be way too much trace minerals. Okay, in fact, that's one of the, that's probably the smallest bag we're gonna use today, right? Cause you really don't need a whole lot of it. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and mix these. All right, and since there was a little bit less compost in there, you know, there's just kind of a thin layer. I thought there was a little less or, or a little more in there than there was. So we're gonna go ahead and add some more of my worm castings. I produced this from my own, my own worm farms. Real good stuff. It's kind of hard to see like the good stuff, but yeah, the, the good moist stuff is down there. I like to kind of like to kind of hand mix it a little bit in the beginning. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and actually add the rest of this. All right, guys, <laughs> I'm a little out of breath. Tumbling, tumbling compost is, is pretty, pretty hard work sometimes. All right, so I just wanna quickly kinda show you guys what this kinda ends up looking like. You know, I, like I said, I kinda eyeball everything. I didn't measure anything. I kinda just dumped half of each bag in there or so. This is what it ends up looking like. When it's wet, it'll look much more like, like dark, like a, like a typical compost. But yeah, guys, this is just meant to be a real quick one. That's how I mix um, organic topper. I use this mix for everything from cannabis to cacti to, I mean, just everything you can think of pretty much, you know, it just different quantities, right? So, you know, if I have like a, like a, you know, a small globular or something, I'll literally grab a piece the size of like a quarter or something, you know, and just barely just sprinkle it on the pot, right? I use this for everything, okay? like. You know, um, I know a lot of you probably go like, oh, well, you know, you know, it's going to be too strong for like globulars, right? Not in my experience, not, not as long as you, you know, it's about the quantity, right? It's about how much you use. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.